Hi there, how are you? I've been working, hoo hoo. Oh yeah. But, occasionally, somehow I found time to make a few delectable acquisitions. These packing peanuts, for example, always bring joy to my heart. And by that I mean I loathe them and detest their very existence. But, if it keeps my silver safe, I guess it can't be all bad. Oh, did I let the cat out of the bag as to what we're looking at today? Well, <laughs> that's just terrible. So, as probably as I'm making this video, silver is probably dropping like a stone. And that's fine. I hope it reaches a dollar. But. I got some uh, juicy honka honka silver um, on the cheap. So, first I want to show you, it's two separate lots. First lot is, uh, oh yeah. There we go. Some Israeli stuff. You know I like the Israeli stuff. Yeah. Anyway, $31 for a lot of Israeli coins, two of which are silver. The one you just saw is 90% silver. And this one is 50% silver. But, look at the mintages. Eh, it doesn't really say the mintage, does it? Let's see. See if it's on the flip side here. Oh, well. There you go. Um, Mintage was like 34 or 43,000. I can't remember which. So it's a very small Mintage Deluxe Premier coin. Both of them are. Yep. So, all together, it's a little over an ounce of silver. Uh, very low mintage. Really cool. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> How much cooler than that does your silver get? Honestly. And... It also came with some bonuses. So there's some uh, proof sets. Came with some proof sets. Um, now this is silver, mind you, but it's, you know, proof sets. Uh, they're in envelopes. So let's break those out. All right. This one doesn't look like a proof set, but there's some, I believe there's some proof sets. Uh, none of this is silver, guys. It's copper, nickel, and other unsavory base metals. Um, I believe there's an actual valuable aluminum. This is aluminum. It's a large letter variety or something. I, I, I know there's a rare coin... Uh, that's probably not it, don't get me wrong, but there is a rare version of that coin. And I don't know what, I don't remember what year it is. Here's a same coin that I'm talking about, the one, the Agora. There's a, some sort of a large print variety, large lettering. Um, so yeah, coins and medals from Israel's government. And this set's from 1969, so we got 1968, 1969. I 
Oh, no, it's not proof. But here you go. Here's the other set. Aluminum, bronze, copper, nickel. There you go. There's the coins. And, uh, you know, it's a nice little display. 1979. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I paid 31 bucks for over an ounce of silver and some sets uh, that I didn't really need, and, but don't mind having. Uh, these coins, the book value on them, is more than double what I paid for the whole lot. So that doesn't mean they're they're worth that, but the book says they're worth that. They are in mint condition. There's some toning. Well, that's an uncirculated coin. Okay. So I have no regrets. Regrets. And I get some more stuff that I can give away as Christmas presents. <laughs> you would not believe how well those fly with certain, uh, you know, and why shouldn't they? I mean, it's not like uh, everybody has one of these. My other purchase, you know, well, first I got to preface this. I've been working, I've had one day off in like the last two weeks, over two weeks. So... Yeah, I haven't had a lot of time to make videos because, uh, you know, the madness that's going on where I work. But I did get, I managed another purchase. You guys are going to like this one. All right, so brace yourselves. No, it's not that exciting. I think it's pretty cool, though. Um, Franklin Mint, right? You guys have heard of Franklin Mint. Everybody's heard of Franklin Mint. I remember when I was a kid, they used to be on TV all the time, right? They were always selling some damn plates or uh, special coin sets, right? Right? Am I the only one that remembers this? Anyway, maybe I'm showing my age. We're just going to put the silver out here front and center. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that nice? The dragon likes it, see? And then we'll just, I mean, it's very festive too for this time of year with the, you know, Hanukkah coming around. And we got stars of David and and uh, Hanukkah lamps, right? I mean, what could be more fun than that? Now, this is what I got. This is... Ooh, from the Franklin Mint. This is a nice ingot here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finger bang it. Great Western Bank and Trust. Which is still a thing in Arizona. Now, check it out. Nice, right? Reflective, yes. And uh, Ben Franklin is a huge fan of this thing. It's a thousand grains of sterling silver. And if you threw this at somebody's head, they would actually feel it. Yeah. It's about two ounces. It weighs over two ounces, but the silver weight is about 1.925 ounces or something like that, which kind of makes sense now that I think about it. 1.9 something ounces. So we'll call it two ounces, two troy ounces of silver. And I got this. Oh, I don't remember what I paid for it. It was right about melt at the time. It's going to be un over melt now because silver dropped, but at the time it was really close to melt. Well, I think I paid $26, $25 for it. 
Wait, no, no. Times two. Uh, it was like 50 something bucks. 50 something bucks. I could look it up, guys. But it doesn't matter. I think it was 50 something bucks. It might have been 50 even. It was 50 even. I think it was right at 50 bucks. Right at 50 bucks for this thing. Um, I mean, there you go. There's a nice shot. That's pretty. That's a pretty hunk of silver. Pretty nice. And it's got that nice finish. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a proof like finish, mirror type finish, and it comes in this lovely display case. And you can put it either way. You can put the Franklin head up, or you can put it like this and have the bank name front and center. And it's like a display piece, you know. You can put it on your desk. And uh, there you go, Silver City, right here, folks. Um, I've got on long enough about that. So we got about three ounces of silver for eighty-one bucks. Uh, is it the deal of the century? No. Is it cheaper than you can get generics on the big dealer sites? Yep. So. I have no problem with it. Tell me what you think, though, in the comments, and have an amazing day. Uh, I hope you find all, all of the coins or miniatures or magic cards or whatever collectibles you're into, you know, guys. It's a big world out there. You might collect uh, old uh, license plates. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you might uh, collect currency notes with se sequential numbers or something. Get it. Get it, guys. Whatever it is. And have an amazing day. And stay safe.